You're new to animation. Questions like, what do I need? What software should I use? Can I animate without a computer? Yes, yes you can. Let's get to it. If you're a total beginner and you're wondering, yeah, I just want to see what's so special about this animation thingy, and you're looking to CC look look and try it out for free, I've got something for you. And if you're already past that stage and looking for more intermediate to professional tools, say you want to create your own YouTube story animations or motion graphics, I'll be talking about that as the video goes on. Let's say you've never done animation at all, and you have a phone or a tablet, I'd recommend getting Flipper Clip. It's available for iOS and Android, and probably Huawei too, and it may be the simplest frame-by-frame -frame animation app created for animators. You create a frame, you draw something on it, add another frame, add another drawing to it, very traditional style cell animation and you repeat it over and over and over again. Hit play and watch the animation come to life. Pretty straightforward. What I do like about Flipper Clip is you can easily add photos to the background or choose one of their pre-existing backgrounds or even better, draw your own. Flipper Clip allows you to add audio files to your animation. You can record your voice, pretty handy if you just want to simulate a story time to animate some scenes for it. For animators that want to do short and sweet animations, I guess Flipper Clip is definitely one of the best choices. It's a great place to start. Another app that is not so far off or as good as Flipper Clip, depending on who you support really, is the app called Procreate. For me, I use this all the time. It's my favorite go-to drawing app and it could be yours too. The difference between Procreate and Flipper Clip to many is that Procreate is more of a drawing app but has some basic animation features which make life easier. Remember guys, we are talking about basic animation here. So where Procreate shines is really in its gallery of amazing stuff like drawing brushes and neat little tools and it's pretty intuitive to say the least. Most people I've recommended it to get the hang out of it really fast. Moving past the basic apps, I'd like to take you into the intermediate side of animation. I like to use Adobe Animate for my animations. Wait, hold up, you said Adobe? The Adobe that costs an arm and a leg each month to rent it? Hmm, yeah. I'm sorry, I tried using other apps but I tried, I tried guys. I see you couldn't live with your failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. Nani. Anyway, regardless of what I say or what you think, Adobe Animate is still one of the leading animation software out there in the market. Trouble is, if you intend to use Animate, you're gonna need a drawing tablet or something more than your mouse. There is a wide range of tablets out there. I'm not going to cover them all, but a very basic tablet without a screen is going to cost you around 50-ish dollars. I hope I'm right guys, don't flame me if I'm not. And the ones with screens, yeah, those are more expensive. Depending on which part of the world you live in, and guess what? I don't even have one of those. Jeez. But for those great animators you see out there, well, they animate on those tablets with screens for a reason. However, I would say investing in a good graphic tablet is something you should do. Maybe not for a start, but when you do have a budget for it, go get one. If and only if you want to take all of this seriously. It's important to understand, Animate allows you to animate on twos and trees, meaning you don't have to draw every single frame by hand. I'm pretty sure one of the things animators struggle with is time. Making a 5 minute video on Flip a Clip might take months because each frame has to be done individually. And I'm not gonna use months to create my animations. Instead, Animate allows you to create symbols and libraries of graphics so you can reuse these assets in your animation workflow. Story animations rely on your character or avatars as the narrator and it's gonna be a huge waste of time to keep drawing your character every single time for every new video. Like, come on guys, make better use of your time. Animate lets you pan and zoom with its camera tool, lets you rig your characters with the funny bone tool, and there's a whole lot of advanced animation features that even I haven't mastered yet. 
yeah, it's pretty much a whole package on its own. Okay, okay, I hear you. Even though anime is cool and what's not, but it's a teeny weeny bit too expensive, right? Okay, straight up blood sucking, alright. You might be asking, are there any other animation programs that's way cheaper or even better free? Hmm? Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna introduce two softwares for your consideration. A relatively cheaper option to consider is the app called Toon Boom Harmony, another really great animation software. Harmony is an all-in-one 2D production animation software that is used by many of the leading animation studios worldwide. I'd say one differentiator for Toon Boom is their community of artists that connects and comes together to support each other, providing great support and sharing creativity across its network. Okay, one final app to consider, OpenToons. This great 2D animation app that is free to use for your commercial and non-commercial projects, need I say more? OpenToons is a great program to start off as a beginner and progress all the way to more advanced animations. Even though I don't personally use open tunes as much as I do for animate, I'd always recommend these to those who want to start off animation and aren't ready to pay the ridiculous prices of Adobe and Co. Because, let's be honest guys, not everybody is ready to pay for stuff they don't fully understand. This ain't college. I hope this has given you some insight on starting out your animation journey. This list is far from complete, but when starting out, you don't want to overload your mind with so much info. I wanted to give you a good idea on where to start and what kind of apps you need to master the basics of animation. I'm sure there's much more info out there and let me know in the comments below if you know of better, more beginner-friendly apps for animation and I'll see you in the next one.